Okay, next muscle we're going to go over is the pronator's teres. So the pronator's teres, the origin is the proximal to medial epicondyle of the humerus. So a lot of the flexors, when we get into the flexors of the forearm, start at the right around this region. And most extensors start on the lateral region right here. So um, a good way to remember it too is the flexors flat, okay, extensors hairy, okay, so extends. So that's what you can remember whether it's extensors or flexors in those areas. So again, for the pronators teres, the proximal to medial epicondyle of the humerus, right around here. And then it goes the me um, mid lateral surface of the radius. So it kind of goes at an angle like this. So of course, the major action of the pronators teres, it pronates hands and assists elbow flexion. So it helps a little bit with elbow flexion. So and then also pronation, palm down, and then when you, um, so when it, you actually go with the palm down, that's pronation, okay? And supination with the palm up. But again, because it's called pronators teres, you'll actually go pronation with the palm down. That's the, that's the action. So it's about an inch or so, and you have to actually go cross fiber friction a little bit to lo locate that. But sometimes you can feel this muscle, otherwise you can actually have them try to pronate and supinate and just kind of roll over it. So the pronator's teres re um, referral would actually just go right around the radial pulse region. And also the pronator quadratus, the pronator quadratus, the uh, the origin for this is the distal um, one fourth of the anterior ulna. So again, this is the ulna side. This is the radius side. So it goes like this, and it goes the distal one fourth of the radius. So it goes starts here to here, and this is kind of tricky to actually locate the pronator's quadratus. You want to actually find the carpal region. Go up a couple inches. It's basically right where the radial pulse is, but of course you don't want to push on the radial pulse. And then you just slide a little bit lateral. That's where the typical trigger point is. So again, with both the pronator quadratus and the pronator teres, it should just refer right around this area 